Hello scholars, so today we're completing module 1, lesson 14. So let's go ahead and read our learning intention. Thoughtful mathematicians skip count to build fluency with multiples of 4. So before we do that, I just want to quickly review what we've learned about arrays. So please write expressions to match the arrays. So go ahead and pause the video now. Once you have your expressions, then you can press play. Again, pause now, write your expression, and then press play to check your work. All right, so let's go ahead and write our expressions. And remember, expressions are just equations without the equal symbol or the answer. So you're just writing the factors in this case. So for this first one, figure one with the purple fish, there are four groups, so four times, and there are four in each group, four times four. For the purple flowers here, there are one, two, three, four, five groups. Five is my first factor. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six in each group, so five times six. For my black leaves here, I have four groups. One, two, three, four. And there are six in each row, that means four times six. And for the red butterflies, I have five groups with four in each, five times four. So just a refresher, the first factor is always the number of groups, the second factor is the size of the group. So let's go ahead and look at our vocabulary. So again, we've been reading these vocabulary words for a few days now, so I'm gonna allow you to read this to yourself. Go ahead and pause if you need to, and then press play when you're ready to move on to the rest of the lesson. So since we're going to be focusing on the four times tables today, or our four facts, we're going to skip count by fours to help us remember them. So I see an array here with different fruits and vegetables. So they've already done the first two for us. Four is one row of four. Two rows of four would be eight. So we're going to keep going. Four, eight, and go ahead and skip count with me at home. Twelve. Four more would be sixteen. Keep going, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So now we're going to match these. I see 4 has been matched with 1 times 4, so I'm going to match 8 with 2 times 4. And I want to keep going. So then 12 must be 3 times 4, that means 16 is 4 times 4, 20 would be 5 times 4, 24 would be 6 times 4, 28 would be 7 times 4, 32 is 8 times 4, 36 is 9 times 4, and 40 is 10 times 4. So what I want you to do now is grab your notebook or a piece of paper that you have because I want you to write down these facts so that you can use them to solve the next problem. So for example, we're going to go in 4 times 1 equals 4 and I want you to move on from there. So let me give you space to copy this. And then 4 times 2 equals 8 and I want you to copy down all these facts. So go ahead and copy them. If you need to, you can pause the video so that way you can go grab the materials you need. <clears throat> but I'm going to write down all the facts of four so that way you can use them to solve today's problems. Four times seven is 28. Four times eight is 32. Four times nine equals 36 and 4 times 10 equals 40. <clears throat> so again, please write these down. If you need extra time, just go ahead and pause the video here so you have all these facts because I want you to use these facts to solve the next problem and the problems in today's problem set. All right, so again, you're going to use those facts you just wrote down to help solve this. A carpenter places four wheels on each of the wooden cars he makes. He made seven wooden cars. How many total wheels 
does he place on the cars? Use the multiples of four to help you solve. So again, you're gonna use the multiples of four we just learned to help you figure this out. So go look, reread this problem to yourself, which four fact that we wrote down would help you solve this. So go ahead and pause the video now. And when you're ready, you can press play to check your work. So again, pause now, solve this individually, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so I know that the four fact that would help me solve this would be four times seven because there are four wheels in each car and there are seven cars. So if I were to draw seven cars, five, six, seven, and place four wheels on each, right? It's kind of like equal groups. I count those wheels, I have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna skip count by fours instead of counting my ones. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. If I look back, if I can double check, four times seven is 28. So I know he places 28 wheels on the cars. So please, if you haven't already, write down these facts because you can use them to help you solve today's problem set. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.